Admiral Mark Andrew Pete Mitcher was a pioneering figure in naval aviation and played a pivotal role in World War II as the commander of the Fast Carrier Task Force in the Pacific. Born in 1887, Mitcher faced disciplinary challenges during his time at the United States Naval Academy, but he persevered and graduated in 1910. Mitcher's interest in aviation led him to become one of the first naval aviators. He was involved in the first attempted transatlantic crossing by air in 1919, flying a Curtis NC flying boat, earning him the Navy Cross for his distinguished service. Throughout the interwar period, Mitcher actively advocated for the Navy's independent aviation branch, defending it against proposals by General Billy Mitchell to centralize control of military aircraft. During World War II, Mitcher's leadership in the Pacific theater showcased the significance of carrier aviation. As the commander of Task Force 58, later Task Force 38, he led a series of successful operations, including the pivotal Battle of Midway. Mitcher's innovative tactics and strategic planning contributed to the destruction of significant Japanese naval and air assets. Facing the threat of kamikaze attacks, Mitcher displayed exceptional leadership and concern for his men's well-being. His task force's continuous operations, including the support of the Okinawa campaign, proved crucial in securing victory for the Allied forces. After the war, Mitcher staunchly defended the importance of naval aviation and voiced his support for a balanced military force. His contributions and unwavering dedication to carrier-based aviation left a lasting impact on naval operations. Admiral Mark Mitcher's legacy endures as a respected leader, pioneer in naval aviation, and a key figure in the United States' success during World War II in the Pacific theater. His strategic acumen and commitment to naval aviation continue to influence modern naval doctrines.